One in West Africa, Senegal, a country of more than 90% Muslims, has remained largely peaceful and tolerant of its Catholic minority. The majority of Senegalese Muslims belong to one of the main three Sufi Brotherhood. Now, how have the Sufi teachings contributed to peace and tolerance in Senegal? To answer this question, uh, journalist Khalil Gay recently visited uh, Tiva Jun, uh, rather Tiva Vone, uh, the holy city of uh, Tijania, uh, the largest Sufi brotherhood in Senegal. Senegal is located in the westernmost part of Africa, where over 90% of the population is Muslim. It is a peaceful Islamic democracy which has remained free from violent extremism. Over the centuries, Islam and its principles have been taught and developed in Senegal through three main Sufi brotherhoods, Tijaniya, Murids, and Kadriya. Tijaniya was founded in Morocco in the 18th century by Sheikh Ahmed al-Tijani. From the holy city of Tivawan, El Hajj Maliksi and later his son Khalifa Babakasi, first caliph of the Tijanis in Senegal, spread the peaceful and open Tijaniya Sufi order in the country and throughout West Africa. Serene Abu Azizi Al Alamin is one of the sons of Khalifa Babakasi and younger brother of Shah Ahmed Tijansi Al Maktoum, the current Caliph of the Tijanese, the largest Sufi brotherhood in Senegal and guardian of the spirituality of Tiva One. We asked Al Amin if Senegal's peaceful, non violent Islam was threatened by today's world trends. Some scholars returned from various Arab countries where they had been influenced by several sources and wanted to change the order of things in Senegal. Claiming that the philosophy of Islam developed by our ancestors was not correct. We said, no. What you received as teachings of Islam in the Arab countries does not match our understanding of Islam here. Certainly, Senegal may be the only country in the world where a Catholic priest can be vocal in front of news cameras defending the principles of Islam and citing Quranic verses. Abbe Jacques is an influential member of the Senegalese Catholic Church. Is Islam a topic for dialogue? Yes, it is very clear in Surat 5 verses 40 to 48. It says, Diversity, compete in your good deeds. Be different for the best of humanity. Sir Abdul Aziz Al Amin says that Senegal must continue playing its role as a distributor of peaceful and tolerant Islam in Africa. That is why he has modernized the city's Quranic schools and opened the curriculum to the teaching of French, English, and modern Western philosophy. Ms. Fatoussal just graduated from the Quranic school. Here, we are taught how to be good examples within society and not to become people who bring trouble every day. There must be a way that leads to a terrorist-free world for Al-Amin. One solution is a return to God with prayers formulated by the world's spiritual leaders. Good people who know about religion and who believe in God.